Profit and Loss Introduction A merchant buys an article from a wholesale dealer. The price at which he buys the article is called the cost price of the article. We write CP for cost price. The money for which he sells the goods is called the selling price of the article. We write SP for selling price. Let us see how to calculate profit or loss. When the selling price is more than the cost price, there is a profit. SP is more than CP. Profit is equal to SP minus CP. When the selling price is less than the cost price, there is a loss. CP is more than SP. Loss is equal to CP minus SP. Remember, profit is equal to SP minus CP. Loss is equal to CP minus SP. Take an example. A real estate agent bought a land for Rs 92,000 and sold it for Rs 1,8,000. How much profit did he make on the sale? Here, cost price or CP is equal to Rs 92,000 and selling price or SP is equal to Rs 1,8,000. As selling price is more than the cost price, profit is equal to Selling price minus cost price, which is equal to 1,8,000 minus 92,000, which is equal to Rs. 16,000. Thus, the agent made a profit of Rs. 16,000. In order to run a business other than spending on the purchase of goods, some other expenses need to be made. For instance, expenses are made for hiring a car, paying petrol bills, rents, salaries to staff, etc. These expenses, known as overheads, are added to the cost price of the goods before finding the profit made or loss incurred. Selling price when cost price and profit or loss are known. A profit is made when the selling price is more than the cost price and a loss is suffered when selling price is less than the cost price. Thus, if profit is added to cost price or loss is subtracted from the cost price, we will arrive at the selling price. When there is a profit, selling price is equal to cost price plus profit. If we take into account the overhead expenses, then selling price is equal to cost price plus overheads plus profit. If there is a loss, Selling price is equal to cost price minus loss. If we take into account the overhead expenses, then selling price is equal to cost price plus overheads minus loss. Cost price when selling price and profit or loss are known. We know that cost price plus profit is equal to selling price. Calculating backwards, if we subtract profit from selling price, we arrive at the cost price. Similarly, cost price minus loss is equal to selling price. Calculating backwards, if we add loss to selling price, we arrive at the cost price. When there is a profit, cost price is equal to selling price plus profit. If we take into account the overhead expenses, then cost price is equal to selling price minus profit minus overheads. If there is a loss, cost price is equal to selling price plus loss. If we take into account overhead expenses, cost price is equal to selling price plus loss minus overheads. Finding profit percent and loss percent. Remember, the profit or loss percent is always calculated on cost price. Profit percent is equal to profit amount divided by the cost price into 100. Loss percent is equal to loss amount divided by the cost price into 100. If profit or loss percent is given, profit amount is equal to profit percent into cost price divided by 100. Loss amount is equal to loss percent into cost price divided by 100. Take an example. 
Vendor A buys potatoes for rupees 300 and sells them for rupees 360. Vendor B buys apples for rupees 500 and sells the apples for rupees 560. At the end of the day, both made a profit of rupees 60. So, did both of them do equally well? No, the vendor A made a rupees 60 profit by spending only rupees 300 and vendor B made the same profit of rupees 60 but had to spend rupees 500 for it. To understand this comparison better, we use percentages. The vendor A's profit is equal to rupees 60, cost price is equal to rupees 300. Thus, the vendor A's profit percent is equal to 60 divided by 300 into 100 which is equal to 20 percentage. Vendor B's profit is equal to rupees 60. Cost price is equal to rupees 500. Thus, vendor B's profit percent is equal to 60 divided by 500 into 100 which is equal to 12%. It is easier to compare profit percentages than comparing profit amounts. A 20% profit percentage means that for every 100 rupees invested, a profit of 20 is made. A 12% profit percentage means that for every 100 rupees invested, a profit of only rupees 12 is made.